good day friends you are welcome to our channel um today we are going to be considering something very much important we are going to be looking at water and when you are talking about water there are two major things we have to put in mind to be successful in cast fish farming that is the quality and the quantity of your water volume but here you are going to be considering water quality and the water quality there are so many parameters to check but one of the vital parameter is the ph which we are going to study how to test for it and how to balance it once your water ph is not okay your fish find it difficult to survive and to even grow well some of the signs of um, poor water ph is what we call acid burnt. You will discover that the fin of your fish Woo! are getting burnt. Lovely. The barbell and some other part are safe. Um, fire or something just injure them. So here, in this document, we are going to be doing a live demonstration on how you can test for your water pH. And if you are still having serious, if you are having serious water challenge, you can contact us via our number. We are specialized in stabilizing water, yeah. and what you are watching is a part of our product. And uh, we ensure we maintain a stable pH for our water in the farm. You can see how they are swimming. So we we'll encourage you to stay put and listen attentively. Yeah, good day friends. Thank you for watching our video. And today we'll be talking about um, water quality management. And specifically, we are going to be considering how to test for pH and how to balance the water pH. For adventure, your water pH is not okay. And right here with me, I have a test kit. This test kit is available. You can get this test kit from any place, no, from most of the places where they normally sell animal care materials. And looking at you, this, this um, test kit has um, a pH chart with variable colors ranging from 4.0 to 10.0. Each of them have their own color to enable you know the water pH you're having. Now, the ideal pH that every fish, um, every fish pond is supposed to have should fall in between 6.5 to 7.5. Especially when you are into breeding. Because when you're talking about water pH, the, the grown out fish such as juvenile table size can, can easily survive a water challenge regarding pH. But when you come to the hatchery, starting from the point of incubation, the management of the fry, when your water pH is not okay, the fish will find it difficult to survive. So here with me, I have um, I have untreated water from the borehole, and I'm going to collect I'm going to collect water from the hatchery. This water is from the hatchery. This from the borehole. So we are going to test. I have two different test kits that I normally use. You can all get them from. The name of this one is um, Water First pH Reagent. And why this is Aqua Lush pH Test Reagent. So let us start. Let us start with the one with the one from the borehole. So this bee can normally come along with the test kit. So you ensure that um, it's around 10 mil according to the description, according to the instruction given. So I'm going to add two drops. So after adding these two drops, can you see the color? This color is um, it look like red. So when you when you when you check it, I want to come closer to the camera. So when you check this color, you see that then what we are having here is 4.0, and this 4.0 is very very bad. 
and I'm telling you that if you make use of this water to drain it, your fry will find it very, very difficult to survive. They are going to be experiencing acid burns. In fact, this water is no other good for raising even table size. That's why you see some fish, their fin will be burning, their body will be burning. Why? Because of the poor water quality. So we are going to we are going to look at the treated water. I told you this one is directly from the pond. It has been treated in the treatment tank. So I'm equally going to add two drops of the reagent. So after adding the two drops, you can see. Let me come close to the camera. You can see what we're having. This is 7.0. This is 7.0. 7.0. This is 7.0. This is 7.0. So, with this, the fried uh, will easily survive. All you just need to do is to, to monitor the way you feed them and ensure your flow through is running. And many people have been having serious challenge in the heart room. And I would like you to understand that water quality management is one of the things you have to put into consideration. So why get it at a tartan with the fish in the pond? I would like you to know that water treatment is very, very important. So if your water is bad, what, there are two major chemicals we normally use in balancing the pH, sodium mash and um, sodium bicarbonate. And before you do that, you must have ideal knowledge of the water, of, the, of your water pH. Then you can now use those chemicals to balance them. So it is something that is, um, that is done by experts. We normally collect water samples from people to run tests for them and um, we we'll also install water treatment tank for people so but if you want to do it yourself uh, it will require you to to you know to be adding some quantity and be testing until you are able to get the ideal ph required but if you find it difficult i will encourage you to join our mentorship class we normally run two months mentorship class for beginners and for farmers that have interest and that mentorship class will it enable us to handle issues they're having in their farms and um, if you need assistance you can always call on us any way we can help we'll always try our best oh, you know catfish breeding is an interesting part of fish farming that pays very well when it is well done but when some of these um, parameters are, ne are, are neglected you know, you begin to experience high level of mortality and it causes so many to lose interest in the business. So, Fish College, in Fish College, we are trying all we can to handle all the challenges people normally have in hash rate and um, in fish management as a whole. So, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. You are free to make comments. Your comments have a way in helping us to do better. Thank you so much. We love you and will continue to serve you very well.